All right, guys, welcome to Championship Saturday at the Crappie Masters Elite Series. We're currently in 12th spot, looking to make a move to the top 10, obviously. And uh, we're back over here at Graysport in the shallows. We're gonna be looking for some spooky fish. Now, day one uh, was a tough, extremely tough bite, as it was, has been kind of all week. Um, I'd say it even got tougher during the tournament day one it's kind of interesting how that works out but um day two here we're in 12th we're in position to make a move if we can get some good fish in the boat and that's what we're planning on doing so we put in at gray's port they allowed us the trailer which is kind of the first time they've done that for the elite series which is nice because we're here didn't have to go across the lake we've got a crazy north wind going on right now but as you can see where we're fishing kind of calm here we go we're gonna put fish in the boat let's do it Now during both days of the tournament, ironically, we caught a fish very quickly. Every time it seemed like we dropped down first a fish of the day, we pretty much would catch. And that was no different here on Championship Saturday. But I can tell you, we knew right away that the fish was gonna be extremely difficult to catch. Not easy. And we were experiencing it right off the bat. Um, from this point on, it doesn't show you the time lapse, but I mean, obviously you see there that the sun's definitely gone up. And this, this literally is probably our second fish. It took a while, and uh, we realized then getting seven fish in the boat was going to be the most critical part. I'm going to. They, uh, I know they didn't. Just a quick update. Um, we've got six fish in the boat. Uh, very tough fight, and uh, it's 10 o'clock, so 10.15ish. So we have one more to get, our seven, and then of course, obviously we'll continue to try to catch bigger fish. Uh, but very finicky bite, no secret. We're not even changing baits anymore. We just know that it's a tough bite and you've got to get the right fish that's that's hungry. And that's, that's part of tournament fishing. We had a similar experience at the Red River, first tournament of the year. And um, all you can do is you can change, you can try different things, but we've kind of concluded that it's really come down to, and we'll, we will continue to change baits, I'm sure, from time to time, but it's really just a crazy finicky bite. Now, we had a major temperature drop um, today, so I think it's high of 70 today? Yeah. High of 70, low temperatures, still feels like it's 55. Obviously, the winter gear. For those that are asking, the hog net right here, you guys can check that out at hogfishing.com awesome different colors blue you can you can make any color combination you want Got him. No, he ain't that big. <laughs> man he looked huge didn't he you look like a on hey, that's number seven <laughs> yeah golly you look like a monster he literally looked like a big, that was a big 15 fish. feet still, I mean. Wow. Number seven, 1039. I just wanna see I think I'm going to go home with a chartreuse. I think I might go right back to the Grenada Gold. Smaller, smaller dart. No, I think I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with that guy. On small profile, nasty J hook. Bunch of shark troops going down. Wow, let's see if that does it. Oops. 
So yeah, it was uh, us changing baits left and right, trying to see what would work. And I'll tell you, we probably made one mistake, and that's for sure staying in the shallow water. We wish we would have went out there uh, in the deeper water in the afternoon on the bluebird day and the sun came up. Um, Thank you, we were catching fish, but at the same time, we weren't catching big that. fish. And uh, this is actually a fantastic fish, fish for us at this point in the game. But we knew we needed bigger fish. Instead, we decided to grind it out in the shallow water. <laughs> we all excited about same, that. Same thing, slow over there. We're gonna bring you to the weigh-in. Hope you guys enjoy it. Not the day we hoped for, but we'll see what we end up being, seeing how everybody else did, etc. Tough fight for us though. Tough, tough fight. Toughest fight I've ever experienced on Grenada. Next to the Red River, this was the toughest fight. Alright guys, well that's gonna end it. We just had the live way uh live weigh-in and we ended up with 1042, I believe it was, for a total of 22 pounds. 22.7 something like that we'll see where we end up I'll put the, the picture up here as to where we ended up on the on the uh, tournament uh, I'll tell you what it was a tough day one of the uh, hardest days for me to fish when you can see fish and you, you can't get them to bite now I'd rather drop on fish that won't bite than not see fish at all but man we saw some monsters Grenada still got it they're still there uh, unfortunately this weekend it was just a just extremely difficult for us to uh, get them to bite on tournament days and actually the bite wasn't that easy all week to be quite honest with you but either way we had a great time crappie masters elite series was awesome um, very sad to hear that they're not going to continue it but uh, we will be on the crappie masters trail the national qualifiers next year so look forward to that we'll do grenada wren lake darbone and i forgot where the uh, championship is but regardless thanks for watching guys have a great one